if I need to arm myself, you know, the easiest thing to manufacture in most places is a pointed object. So I can take that crystal big pen that you're writing on that uh, notepad with and uh, using the friction from the carpet, I can turn it into a hypodermic needle that you can then poke into somebody's neck. Oh, what's the process of doing that? So I can do it right now if you want to. No, but can you, can you use your words for the listener and also because I'm terrified? Uh, no, I could, I, I could basically, you can take the friction, the, the, the heat and friction created from this carpet. Yes. You can grab that pen. In and of itself, it will pierce flesh, but it will slow itself down because it has a few uh, angles on, to the, on the tip. Oh, you want to wear down the angles. So if you take that tip off and you grab it and, and grind it on an angle on the carpet, the heat will actually turn it into a hypodermic needle if you know what you're doing. Hypodermic meaning like it's, it smoothens the entry. It'll make a point and an angle that will guide its way in through your flesh. So you can actually go through a torso with that if you know what you're doing. As a small tangent, you also gave me a present. <laughs> Could be one of the most epic presents I've ever received. You, you, you give it to Rogan. Uh, can you explain what I'm holding in my hands? There's a guy online, Coffin Tramp is his uh, moniker. Uh, it is a... G10 rod. G10 is a very strong material, basically capable. They, a lot of people make actually G10 knives, which are basically non-magnetic, non-ferrous objects that can be utilized as a stabbing implement. Um, the core of it isn't uh, isn't uh, an actual pencil core. It's a G10 core, and it's uh, encased in uh, oak, hard oak. So that is capable again of stabbing through a torso. Now the the guy that made that. Uh, it's an artisan, you know, it makes that, it looks like a pencil. It's concealed in it, in, in the nature of the object itself. But that small object is capable of being introduced into a chest cavity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, it'll, all it takes is about the half of your thumb or the length of your thumb to stab into your chest cavity. And now your pericardium is pierced and it's being full with, filled with blood or your whole heart is pierced and you have a few minutes to live if you're at a standing heart rate. So this is uh, this this has the effectiveness of a knife, essentially. It has the effectiveness of a shank or a, or a, or a, or an ice pick. You know, it's not going to cut, but it's going to make a hole where it not the, the, it shouldn't be. Here, the the pen is literally mightier Weirder than, than the sword. sword. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's, it's <laughs> this, this is really epic from like a perspective of an academic. This this is, this is a symbol of both intelligence and violence. I love it. And also the, the current state of affairs where people need to arm themselves with things that are concealed as far as their purpose in a place where, in a country or in a society that limits their ability to arm themselves. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to a safe place, yeah. you're going to a place where no weapons allowed, which means a rich, a target rich environment if you're a predator, uh, that's a sign of rebellion. Let this be a, a signal <laughs> <laughs> of everyone should be terrified when you're around me. Because <laughs> even a pencil can murder you. And uh, I intend to use this. And yeah, nobody nobody owns life, but anybody that can hold a frying pan owns death, is a quote that I heard once, which is a beautiful one. I'm looking at you. If anyone betrays me, this is the way to go. <laughs>